So it's hard to hear that, and there's a good reason for that, Amanda, um, because that was a sort of a, you know, a, a bootleg. Nobody was supposed to have cell phones going. But Chris Rock said that he was still processing what was, you know, what had happened and what was going on, and then he sort of admitted to the audience after saying, how was your weekend? You know, great, great opener. Um, that he, he hadn't really, wasn't really able to prepare any comedy about this because there just wasn't, you know, enough time. Did you hear any of the people who came out of the earlier show talk about what the show was like? So those folks who went to that first show came out, and I spoke with people before the show, too, and they said that they really hoped that his set didn't focus on that incident from Sunday, that he did his true comedy and that he really was the Chris Rock that they know and love. And I, as you could see in that clip, he addressed it right off the top and then re went right into his typical set. And those folks that we spoke with coming out were happy about that. They were grateful that he really stuck to his comedy and didn't talk too much about that incident with Will Smith. You know, um, we saw, Amanda, that some of the, t and this is a picture of Chris Rock on his way in earlier tonight. You know, before, it was probably around six or five o'clock, I think, uh, tonight for the Boston show. He, he came in. Obviously, there were throngs of media everywhere because this is the first time we've seen him since Sunday night, uh, since he was sort of the victim saw, you know, seen around the world. But did anybody say that his, um, his demeanor was different or did they say it's same old Chris Rock, it's like nothing ever happened? That's what I heard from folks, and as you can see coming in, the video that we shot, he does look a bit somber, but it was a very rushed entrance into the back of the theater. He didn't want to take any uh, questions from the media, which we understand, but on stage, people didn't even notice that anything had happened, really. And what about the people who paid $1,000? I mean, clearly, you know, they weren't paying $1,000 before Sunday at 10 o'clock at night. Um, did you meet any of the people who said, I wanted to get a piece of this action no matter what it cost? Yes. So we spoke with people who got tickets early on, paid about $50, $60, $70. And then people who saw what happened at the Oscars, knew he was coming to Boston for three nights and bought tickets right away. I spoke with a couple who each paid $500 for each of their tickets. And now those tickets, they got them Sunday night. They're going for two, three, four thousand dollars $4,000 now. So let me, I've just seen people behind you, you know, like doing the, the jubilant uh, fist pumping, et cetera. That's usually what happens with TV, you know, lights. But what's the mood among all the folks who haven't yet seen the, you know, the late show? I actually have some friends who are going into the late show and they didn't look at any of the tabloids, any of the news reports. They don't want to know how he addressed it. They're just all so excited and eager to hear what he says and how he responds, but also just to see his set because these are true hardcore Chris Rock fans here in Boston. Well, I would say so. Okay, Amanda, you have to do the late duty and you have to report back to us what uh, what happens in the late show as well because maybe he'll say something different and <laughs> maybe it'll make some more headlines. Thanks for doing this late night uh, job for us tonight. Really appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.